Just under 30 years ago, I was in Normandy filming the Lisieux Tree Festival with my friend Tim Bannerman. But we also went to meet apple growers mm. elsewhere mm. in the area. Hello. Uh, this is uh, Yves Sarra, uh, a farmer who is the fifth generation. La cinquième génération maintenant. Oui. Avec uh, encore une génération à venir. J'espère. <laughs> <laughs> He's got uh, two children already, aged 10 and 6, and one on the way. And uh, as I said, he comes from a long line of people of this area, which is near Argentan, Ferté Massé, in the uh, Orne oui. region. C'est dans oui. l'Orne, Basse Normandie. In the Lower Normandy area. So when uh, Yves arrived on the scene, uh, cider, which had traditionally been part of the agricultural way of life uh, had more or less been lost for 30 years. Le cidre était en effet fini. So Yves now um, has up to 80 people who camp in his orchard, which you can see around here. Um, uh, this is obviously in the height of the summer. Uh, and he encourages them to buy the the products, the particularly the, the products that you might call cidricole that he makes here, which include cider, calvados, pomo. Oui. Um, and of course, all this is sold in bottle form, which his grandfather, in his day, le grand-père, uh, sold and delivered in the barrel. So times have changed somewhat. So this venerable old tree that you see here is uh, 60 years old, and you might well call it grandpa's tree. Whereas uh, Eve's trees are the ones that he's planted within the last 15 years, either of the traditional kind, which are what they call the haute tige, or, as we shall see later, of the more modern and more intensive kind of the bas tige, because Eve does both haute and bas. Okay. Eve um, is the only elected ecologist in the area. Uh, for La Ferté Massé. Oui. Uh, and so therefore he is passionately interested in how people maintain, exploit um, the, the land on which they live, on which they gain their living, um, and also obviously concerned for the future of this land. Uh, his cider production is entirely what they call biologic, what we would call uh, organic. So therefore, there, isn't, there are no um, additives of any of any chemical nature. So uh, this is a peri or pear meadow um, with about oh, six varieties of pear tree for the making of peri, yeah. including, uh, as Yves was just telling me, the blanc de blanc which has got that name because it actually resembles the wine of that name. It's a very fine, pale, delicate, and I'm sure absolutely delicious perry. Uh, these, these trees are about 12 years old. Vous faites combien de par rapport de, du cidre? Uh, 30%. 30% so, en volume. Hein? So he makes about 30% perry compared to... Um, Alors, euh, c'est 70% cidre. Euh, 70% pommes et 30% euh, fruits euh, poires. D'accord. So it's 70% apple and then 30% perry and other fruit. Ah, et qui maintenant associe, disons, produits industriels avec produits fermiers à côté. D'accord. So um, he actually sells um, about 25% of his produce here at the farm to the campus and to passing trade. Uh, the rest of it he sells in what he would call middle surface, moyen surface, which is um, the, the, the smaller supermarkets, uh, associations, and special sellers, caves, as they call them here. Eve has given us uh, a guided tour of his land, uh, his cultivation. He has 47 hectares in all, um, 60 of which are devoted to orchards of pear and apple, 10 of which are towards leisure pursuits, camping, uh, fishing, and so on. Um, 
So I've just asked him what he felt was perhaps a central message that uh, he would like people to, to understand and that, that people should be reached by, which in his view is that the cider maker cannot exist alone. And it needs all the people in that region to come together, if possible, so that their product can come, become synonymous with that region, much like cognac is synonymous with the Charente, and therefore cider, Calvados, pomo, apple juice, pear juice should become synonymous with Normandy, so that in this area there is a real, what they call cru, which is the quality product of that area. Otherwise he fears that gradually, one by one, the people will fall away by the wayside and all that will be left will be the industry and the soul of the place will have gone. These were the products that Yves was making and selling at the time but what a thought eh, pulling together. All the people of a region pulling together to highlight the products and the drinks and the foodstuffs. What an idea. How could it possibly come about? Well, I wish it would come about in this country. High time it did, especially after this coronavirus lockdown. We do need to pull together in a region to highlight the wonderful things that people make and produce.